Good morning all. Sunday morning and I'm up pretty early for a Sunday and I've decided to make a new stem or attempt to make a new stem for this uh, freehand pipe. And the stem that I've had up to now is this one here which I've made from Cumberland and um, I think it's just too short, the balance isn't there. Uh, well, if you imagine it in there like that. It's okay, but I mean, the the actual, there's some errors on this, it's uh, got a hole there, went too close to the drill. So, I mean, it's a usable thing, it's okay for an emergency, that's them, but the, it wouldn't really be good enough in terms of a finished pipe. So, I'm making a new pipe, a new uh, stem. This is some stem material from um, Eldritch Pipes and um, we'll s see how this goes. I've just straightened off uh, the edge, the face, with a force and a bit. We're going to drill the draft hole in a minute and then we're going to glue in the 9mm tenon. We'll drill it and glue it. And then we'll start thinking about shaping, which is the bit which uh, I need a lot of practice on. Anyway, we'll see how we go. It's a perfect fit, so we're going to glue that in. Before we glue the tenon in, I'm going to drill the draft hole. So what I've done is I've marked off this drill bit, which will give me about half an inch, a little bit more than half an inch, at the other end of the stem to drill it with a thinner diameter uh, drill bit, so that I can chamfer it down as thin as I want at the biting zone. Bear in mind, of course, that I'm an amateur when it comes to this stuff, and I'm just really taking you along for the journey. Don't take this as gospel. There's, there's proper, real pipe makers out there who will show you the right way to do stuff. I'm just kind of finding my way here. And I'm um, just taking you along, really. This material from Eldritch Pipes, he, he pours this stuff himself. It's extremely soft compared to stuff like Ebonite and, well, Ebonite's soft as well. Um, it's certainly, you can't compare it to acrylic. It's starting to heat up a bit. There's my brush. I suppose in, in terms of its makeup, it's probably nearer to acrylic, but um, but in terms of its uh, comfort, which is the reason why um, 
he's made this compound. So I'm just going to give the face a little bit of a polish with some high grit. This is 1200 grit. I've done some lower grits on it. It's just easier to do it now while it's on the lathe than to have to do it later on. So we're going to now just, I'm going to vacuum out, make sure there's no dust in there. And then I'm going to glue the tenon. Right, I've given it a bit of a shake and we are getting some more out of it. I do have uh, an epoxy which you mix together, which I think I will probably use in the future. I think in the long term, I think it cures better and it literally forms part of the plastic. Whereas this super glue, you can snap it sometimes, the super glue, and it breaks the seal. All right, we've got enough on there. So the tenons have a little lip, so you can't drive it too far. And just take a clean tissue and wipe it around and job done. That is that. So we'll leave that to uh, dry off for a while. And from this side of the stem, my job is basically done. And I'm going to reverse it now and drill the, uh, hopefully, we'll line up the two holes um, with a very narrow drill bit. And we're then going to cut the slot as well. And um, we'll see how we go. So I've got a... one mil drill bit which I'll be using and then possibly go up to one and a half mil. As you get past the uh, stage, which is not drilled, you then feel it soften up, and you know you've hit the original hole, which I'm really happy with. So it looks like we've hit the draft hole, and um, that's pretty good. So we're going to cut the slot now. Right, let's see if we can make a clean slot. and straight clean line obviously you've got to do some sanding and stuff but uh, good start right, this is where we're up to so far it's a bit difficult to video on the sander it's very noisy and the position is not quite ideal uh, but there you can see it's pretty bang on 
the drill. And now comes the uh, shaping of the bite zone and the bit. Um, that still can come down a little bit more, it's still quite wide, but um, I'm still at the stage where I'm not that confident not to sand down or file down into the drill and make the holes like I've done before. So I'm going to tread carefully with that. Alright, so I'm really a complete novice when it comes to shaping stems. Uh, this is where we're at at the moment, which is a reasonable position to be at, I think. I've just got to recut the uh, slot because I've trimmed off. This was quite wide, so I'm just going to recut the slot. Right, well, this is where I'm at, and I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to start sanding it now. That bit's looking pretty good. It's very comfortable in the mouth, I must say. I've tried it. It clenches very, very well. So now I've just got to smooth it all out, and then the bending. I want to do a small curve, a very gentle curve on it. Um, and it's where I've kind of come unstuck with a lot of the pipes that I've done so far so we'll see how that goes it's like never ending this sanding you can just sand and sand and sand but the results definitely do happen so that's really looking good the bit is superb very happy with that still got sanding to do but we're getting there it's taking shape very nicely and it's super comfortable Made it nice and rounded really nice shaping really slowly does it kind of thing just need to finish it now we need to get a nice smooth uh, finish a glassy finish to it um, but overall it's looking good and I just hope and pray that I don't mess it up when I try to bend it all right this is where we're up to with a really nice shiny glass finish very happy with the shape of the stem really ecstatic with it to be honest um, it definitely helps doing uh, using wet sanding which I've not really done before to any great extent fanned out the, uh, the bit as well yeah, focusing is a bit of a challenge it's 
it's focusing too much on the background. Hang on. Come on. There you go. So it's nicely fanned out. Got a smooth draw. Very easy draw. Comfortable button. Now comes the uh, part which could see this all go to pop. I'm going to try and bend it. So I'm going to do that now and uh, hopefully I'll come back to you with some good news. Well, here we are. As I said, a gentle curve is what I wanted. I, uh, I do need to really get to grips with bending stems. I currently use um, a heat gun. Um, but um, yeah, I, I, it's still a bit of a learning curve. But um, as I found with everything, you know, everything comes with practice. You know, even this stem getting it to this stage, I didn't think I'd uh, get a stem out as cleanly as this. I don't know if it's because this material is so easy to work with. Um, I've got some more um, Cumberland here, which I, I might have a go with at some point on a different pipe. Um, so we'll see. I've got a feeling that this stuff is easier to work with. It's really quite soft in terms of sanding. And uh, when I was funneling using that uh, wooden tool, it was really quite easy. So it's a good material to work with in terms of sanding, but in terms of shaping it and bending it, um, I didn't find it as easy as I would have liked. Not because of it, not the fact that it was difficult, but just controlling the curve and, and then cooling it down so that it uh, keeps retains that shape. I found that it did spring back. So I had to completely, um, usually I, I dip it into water, take it out and it's enough, but I had to leave it in there um, for a while to fully cool it down. Um, and uh, even then some of the curve has sprung back. It really is a very gentle curve. It's, it almost seems like it's still jumping back, you know, this is weird. It really needs more of a curve. Um, it's, it's, it needs to have more of a bend to make it comfortable. See, the actual mortise over here uh, it really needed to be drilled on more of an angle, so this would be sticking up, you know, like that. Um, but, um, so this really does need more of a bend, but I'm scared if I do it again, it's going to have too sharp a bend. It won't be a nice gentle curve, which is what I'm trying to achieve. Um, but I think it is going to need some more, because it's almost looking straight now. Well, disaster just struck, and I am boiling with myself. There we go. After all that hard work, trying to bend this stupid sucker, trying to control my temper now. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get in touch with uh, Chris Eldridge and ask him how to do this, because I couldn't shape this. Uh, I'm, I'm poor. That's a whole morning wasted. That's about three hours making this stem down the pan. I was really happy with the shape of it. But you know what? I'm going to upload this just to. Uh, still going to share the journey, as they say. And. Uh, oh, look at that. I mean, that stem worked out so well. The bit. Really happy with how that bit turned out. That sucks. There we go. Anyway, basically I was uh, trying to bend it and then cool it down in a bucket of water, which with Ebonite it works almost instantly. Um, but this stuff takes time to cool back down. And basically it kept on springing back into shape, into a straight shape. Um, and I, uh, basically I heated it and sort of gently heated it more and more. Because um, basically I was trying to get it to curve, have a gentle curve there. And what was happening was, that wasn't curving, but it was curving over here. Um, and eventually it's given on this, because uh, it's got this tube inside, which is making it rigid. And it's made it crack. I've had that before, but I was extra careful not to get near that zone. But still, it's it's broken at that place. That is frustrating, what can I say? Back to square one. 